Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Saving Sunderland. Now I have returned to Dare. We are in the semi-finals of the FA Cup and we are playing Newcastle United. That's right, another derby. Newcastle United in the semi-finals, the FA Cup coming up. After we'll just review the fixtures that you've missed in between. So on the last episode we got stuffed by Chelsea 3-0. It was a disappointing game with a disappointing result which pretty much ended any hopes of winning the title this season. But we followed that up with a 2-1 win against Watford. It was a good result. Playing at home. Alessi in play. Getting himself a double. Uh, really pleased with that. Let's check the next one. And this was the FA Cup game that you missed. It was against Arsenal at home. This was a really, really tough result. Arsenal are a really good team in this league. And they pushed us all the way. But we managed to scrape through with the victory from Duncan Watmore. 54th minute. As you can see by the stats, it was quite an even game. And we were lucky to get away with the win, but we did it, and we're into the semis. We then played Arsenal again, but this time at the Emirates, in the league. And this time we came up just short. We got beat 4-3, an 89th minute winner from Danny Welbeck, come back to hunt us. Uh, it was a good game. We were, we were really clinical in front of goal. Pretty much every highlight that we had that was going our way resulted in a goal. But, unfortunately, we couldn't quite do it this time. Now, this was the game that you missed that I wish I'd recorded. It was a 3-3 draw against Manchester United. They took the lead through Marcus Rashford quite early on, six minutes in. But we got back into the game through Alessi in play in uh, injury time of half-time. 47th minute goal, which brought us back into the game. But then, Duncan Watmore and Francisco Varela gave us a 3-1 win and I was cruising. To be honest, this, this result was probably my fault. It was a, a failure in in-game management. I didn't really change anything. I made substitutions later on to freshen things up. And just after them three substitutions, they got a penalty in the 91st minute, which they put away, no problem. And then in the 94th minute, Fred got them the equaliser. So we ended up drawing this game instead of winning. Really disappointing. But if you'd give me the draw before the game started, I probably would have taken it. And the last match in this little run was a 3-0 routine victory against Everton at home. This was an easy game. Jordan Pickford unfortunately got himself injured. Sorry, Jordan. But 3-0 win, back to winning ways in the league, happy days. Now we're going to the semi-final of the FA Cup. So this is how we're going to line up today. Pretty much a usual standard team, except I've got Francisco Trincao starting instead of Wabi Kazri. Trincao's been doing really well when he's playing, so I want to give him a chance today in the FA Cup. So I'll see you kick off. And we'll kick off, us oh, shooting left to right. Let's get into this. Highlight with us down the left-hand side, Steve Marrera to end Dong in the centre. Oh, Lascelles cuts it out really well, and this could be a break for Newcastle Balotelli on this right-hand side. Close him down, Matt Ritchie. Loads of space for his cheek long shots. Uh, as I say, long shots I don't mind. Back with another highlight, Vidaska cuts out the ball down the left-hand side of Varela. Back post, what more? Great goal. Francisco Varela with a great ball on the back post. What more? Dinks it in 1-0 in the FA Cup semi-final. If we can keep this up, we're going to be FA Cup finalists. And that will be absolutely amazing. I would love to win a trophy. Duncan Watmore rises up, gets the head. It's continuing good form, 1-0. Well, that's half-time. Pretty dull game so far. The only highlight coming from our goal. But if it stays like this, I'm happy with that. If no more highlights come from the second half, I'll be very pleased. And we'll pick it up here with Newcastle. Advance down this left-hand side. Call back in the centre. To Iosi Perez. To Balotelli. To Matt Ritchie. Oh, what a strike, son. What an absolute goal that was. Although it pains me to say it, that was a really, really good goal. So you pick it up here with Moreno. Back to call back in the centre. And he finds Perez in the centre. Who finds Balotelli. Who finds Matt Ritchie. First time strike with a left peg. 1-1. One, one. Highlight. Balotelli. He's got the ball. He's held it up well. He's bringing them in. Oh my dears. If that's the best Balotelli can do, I'll, I'm very happy. And we're back with another highlight with us down the left-hand side this time. But looks like callback's cleared. Vidaska cuts it out from Balotelli. Oh, what a poor pass to Buffal. This could be a really poor break from them. Oh, we've caught it out. Trinkow's got it on the left. Oh, what a ball. Oh, don't want what more. He's got the pace to beat his man. He hasn't got the finishing ability. I knew as soon as he got into that sort of position, he wasn't putting that away. Free kick to us. Santi puts it in. Back to Endong to Jilabodji. Endong to Jilabodji. He gets caught out by Azoe Perez. Now they can break. What a ball to Bufal. Please save this Rykovic. Oh. 
It's two one eighty eighth minute. We're gonna we're gonna get beat in the semi final of an FA Cup. That is gutting. Absolutely gutting. We're gonna get Ben will burn on for his pace if he can do anything in these final few minutes. But it looks like to me we're gonna go out in the FA Cup semi final to Newcastle of all teams. No not new I didn't even want to say this. Right. Ah, it's too too late. Too late. I should have paused it. Too late. 2-1. Two, FA Cup semi-final. I mean, if you'd offered us that at the beginning of the season, of course, I would have took a semi-final. But this was our opportunity to win silverware in our second season in charge. We've messed up. Newcastle go on to the final. I wish them the best of luck. But never mind. So this is how the table looks after the previous fixtures that have just been. And of course... We are now out of the FA Cup. We will not be going to the final. Disappointed with that, but hey, it is what it is. We're still third in the league. We're six points adrift at the top, so it's very unlikely that we're going to win the league. Uh, but we are more than comfortable in the Champions League positions, which are now pretty much guaranteed. Disappointing, disappointing episode, but we'll move on from it. Next episode... I'm going to bring you the final two games, Stoke Crystal Palace, and we'll review the Wolves and Liverpool game. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. But until next time, take it easy.